Hello guys, welcome to the year 27 session of the ASP.NET Web API 2. In this session we will learn about how to versioning the our API by using the query string. Instead of passing the our version along with the URI, we are pass it in the query string like the like the API slash employee question mark v equal to 1 which will retrieve the uh, list of all the employee of the uh, version 1. For retrieving version 2, we need to use the uh, query string v equal to 2. For creating versioning using the uh, query string, we need to create the uh, our custom controller selector. Let's switch to Visual Studio. Add a new class. Name controller selector. which is going to derive from the uh, default http controller selector let's include the namespace within that we need to create a constructor with the uh, parameter http configuration which is present in the uh, different namespace config and we, and we also need to create a private and we also need to create a private variable of http configuration config this dot config equal to the uh, config that come from the uh, parameter and we also need to call to the uh, base by passing the uh, our config object and we need to override select controller method of the Default HTTP controller selector. First of all, we need to retrieve the list of the controller that available in the our controller directory. For that, write the for that write the controller equal to get controller mapping. Which will return the all of the uh, controller of the uh, type API controller, not the MVC controllers, and retrieve the uh, name of the our controller from the URI. For that, we need to use the uh, request object request dot get routed data dot values of controller dot to string and the uh, version number let's initially take the uh, one and now we need to obtain the uh, version number from the our query string for this we need to write the uh, var query string equal to http utility dot parse query string within braces we need to pass the our request dot requested uri dot query and now we need to check that the query string is uh, exist or not if the exists then we need to update the value of the uh, version number for that we need to write the uh, if query string not equal null then 
version number equal to the uh, query string of v we need to check the query string of a v after the retrieving the version number now we need to decide the our controller name for that we need to check the value of the our version write if version number equal equal one then controller name plus equal to v1 and otherwise we need to select the controller 2 Return type of this function is the HTTP controller descriptor. Now we need to create the instance of that HTTP descriptor. And now we are going to retrieving the uh, controller with that our. And now we are going to retrieving the uh, controller with the uh, controller name. For that we need to write if. if controller dot try get value within the parameter we need to pass the controller name there is a controller name and which will take the out parameter of the descriptor if the controller exists then we need to return the descriptor Otherwise, we need to return the null. After creating the custom controller selector, now we need to specify it in our web API config file. First of all, we need to uncomment the default API routes and the comment the route that we have previously created. Within that file, we need to write the config dot services dot replace type of i http controller selector which was a present in a different namespace so import it and pass the new instance of the our controller selector which take the uh, configuration as a parameter let's build the uh, solution let's open the uh, api slash employee which will return the uh, employee of the uh, version 1. However, we are not specify the version in the URL. This is why because we are specify that the uh, version number 1 will be a uh, default for the our uh, custom control selector. Let's use the uh, version 2. For that we need to write the uh, question mark v equal to 2. You can see that it written the instances of the uh, employee version 2. For creating a versioning using the query string, we need to create a custom controller selector class which extends from the uh, def default HTTP controller selector. Within that, we need to override the select controller method in which we need to retrieve the list of the controller by using the get controller mapping and the name of the controller by using the request object and check whether the query string is exists or not. Based on the uh, version number, we are decide the uh, controller name. By using the uh, controllers dot try get value, we are specify the uh, our controller name that we want to retrieve. After creating the uh, custom controller, we need to update it in the uh, config file. 
in which we need to write the config dot services dot replace in which we are going to replace the uh, IHTTP controller selector with the uh, new controller selector object. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.